everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be reviewing a white tea that david c recently came out with it is a newer tea that has been around for maybe a month now it is called ruby grapefruit so ruby grapefruit is a white tea i have had it in my collection for some time and i have been dying to review it so I'm not big on grapefruit teas. I never have really been a big grapefruit kind of lover, but it is a white tea and it says, you plus this bright blend of pink grapefruit floral white tea and tart hibiscus is a forever and always kind of love. Ingredients are white tea, candied pineapple, apple, hibiscus, beetroot, grapefruit flavoring, grapefruit peel, sweet blackberry leaf, lemon oil. So, uh, it is online. I think it's about $11.98 per 50 grams or $9.98 per 50 grams. It's not a cheap tea and it smells quite, it smells sweet. It smells citrusy. I can smell the grapefruit. It's very potent with the grapefruit when you smell this tea. And um, yeah, so I'm not really expecting too much from this tea just because it is a white tea. White tea tends to kind of be not boring, but you can't really do much with white tea. So I did end up making this tea iced. I have been cold brewing it in the fridge for about a week now, and I did add some sweetener, so I'm gonna be trying this one out. I'm pretty excited. Um, mm, whoa, okay, ugh. So, I had a feeling that this would happen, because, and I thought I was safe by cold brewing this, so I would not recommend cold brewing this. Grapefruit is a very, like, sour fruit, no matter how you have it. So it's pretty sour if you cold brew it and leave it in the fridge. Um, I think next time I'm going to try to maybe, I always want to cold brew because I always find that by steeping it normally, it's not strong enough. Like it's never ever str like strong enough. <clears throat> so mm, it's very, very, very tart. Oh my gosh. It's tart with a little bit of sweetness. The grapefruit is like, it's like that nasty sour grapefruit that you get at the back of your throat when you do have like grapefruit without the sugar um sorry about that something uh came up so yeah i wouldn't this tea is very it's sour i i want to try it maybe just steeping it for about five minutes and adding some sweetener and maybe that will change how it tastes i'm not huge on grapefruit never have been i know david c came out with grapefruit gritty years and years ago that one was pretty good but still pretty bitter so this one's not really for me it's very bitter if you cold brew, but I have not tried it um, hot or like regular steeped iced. So <clears throat> hopefully that day comes. I only bought a 20 gram bag, so I'm going to go back and buy some more, maybe try again. So uh, would I repurchase this tea? I'm going to try and see if I can make it a better way. Would I stock up? I would not stock up on this one. And rating out of 10, it's like a 6 out of 10. It's all right. I It's just... <sighs> I'm not big on grapefruit, so I guess it's kind of biased. So that was my review on Ruby Grapefruit by David's Tea. Um, it is available in store and online. Um, let me know what you guys think of this tea if you have tried it. And I hope you guys enjoy this quick review. And thank you guys so much for watching.